All right, welcome to the fifth lesson of the Comprehensive Guide to Prompt Engineering. Previously, we've talked about creating prompts as well as modifying them. However, one of the first steps in modifying and refining your prompts is actually evaluating the performance of the language model. So let's get started. When evaluating the effectiveness of a prompt, it's important to measure its impact on the generated output, to assess the quality of the output, and then identify areas for improvement. Key things that will help you evaluate your prompts are establishing clear goals, gathering data, and analyzing the results. This can include things like tracking response accuracy, measuring user engagement, monitoring response time, as well as coherence, relevance, and consistency with the intended tone and style. By regularly monitoring and analyzing these metrics, you'll be able to make informed decisions about your prompts and continually improve their effectiveness. For example, if you are using a prompt to generate marketing copy, you would want to assess how well the generated text captures the intended message and tone and how well it resonates with your target audience. But before even prompting for the marketing copy, it's important to establish who your target audience is, what reaction you're looking for, what's your message, what's the style, etc. This way you will have a clearer understanding of the output you want to get, which will make your evaluating and refining much easier. Another example, let's say you have a prompt that says describe your dream vacation. To evaluate its effectiveness, you can measure the diversity and coherence of the generated response. If the majority of the responses are similar and not very imaginative, then the prompt may not be very effective in eliciting unique and creative responses. On the other hand, if the responses are varied and creative, then the prompt is likely effective. Key metrics to consider when evaluating the performance of a language model are relevance, consistency, coherence, and diversity. In other words, you should ask yourself these questions. Does the model's output match the intent of the prompt? Does the model's output maintain a consistent tone and style throughout the generated text? Does the model's output form a logical and coherent narrative? And does the model's output exhibit variety in its choices, words, phrases, and sentences? By evaluating the performance of a language model using these metrics, you can identify areas for improvement and refine your prompts accordingly. Now, there are several techniques you can use to improve the quality of your prompts. You can add specific constraints, such as a desired length or tone, which can help steer the model in a desired direction. You can provide the model with seed text, such as a paragraph or sentence, as this can help the model generate text that is more relevant to the prompt. You can use more specific words in the prompt in order to help the model generate text that is more accurate and relevant. This can include terms related to the topic, the target audience, or the desired style. And you can specify the structure of the generated text as it can help ensure that it is organized and coherent. This can include information about the formatting, the length of each section, the style of writing, etc. By using these techniques, you can improve the quality of your prompts and generate better results from language models. Now, refining your prompts is an iterative process, and always keep in mind that you may need to make several rounds of adjustments before you achieve the desired results. And some of the key steps in refining your prompts include generating text using the current prompt, evaluating the performance of the model using the metrics I previously mentioned, making adjustments to the prompt based on the evaluation results using the techniques I previously mentioned, and repeat steps 1, 2, 3 until the model's output meets your desired criteria. By following these steps and using the metrics and techniques discussed previously, you can refine your prompts and achieve better results from language models. Let's now look at some examples. Now, this prompt sounds good enough, however, it is too broad and lacks direction, which could result in a confusing and disjoint narrative. Below you can see a much more detailed example, providing the language model with a direction for the story. This one is too vague and could lead to a general description that lacks detail and personality. However, below we can see an example of an obviously better prompt, as it gives the model a specific city to describe, as well as a desired direction and tone for the response. Finally, this prompt is too broad and could result in a poem that is not focused and lacks depth. Below it, 
we can see another example of an obviously better prompt as it provides the model with a very specific style of writing as well as direction. So to quickly recap guys, evaluating and refining prompts is a critical step in the process of generating text with language models. By evaluating the outputs and refining your prompts accordingly, you can generate high quality text that meets your desired criteria. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson where I'll run you through some advanced techniques in prompt engineering.